Do you want to know how to get the best sound from any mic in OBS? That's the point of this video. And I'm going to be showing you using all free built-in filters from OBS Studio. It'll be easy. I might be speaking some language you don't know, but follow along with me and we'll get through it. So I plan to show you how to layer the different filters in OBS Studio on top of your mic audio input source. That way you can get the best sound out of your voice for your Twitch, live streams, YouTube videos, etc. Using any mic, any USB mic, any mic through an interface. I just did a, a video about how to do overlay design, costing you nothing. So hopefully you followed that along and you've got your stream looking how you want it. Now we need to get your stream sounding how you want it. Here we go. Okay, so your first step, if you don't have OBS Studio, is download it and install it. The link is in the description below. And uh, I have it open right now. So your first step is to create your audio input capture. So you're gonna hit add, you're gonna go up to audio input capture and name your device and hit okay. After you add in your audio input source, what you're gonna wanna do is get the initial gain set for your microphone to a decent and high level, probably floating somewhere around this yellow if preferable. And how that's done is on your microphone. If it's a USB mic, it probably has a gain knob that you need to turn up or down. And then, or if you have an interface microphone with an XLR cable, what you do is you turn that gain up or down to get in this yellow range. Now I'm gonna disable all of my uh, uh, filters so you can see where my voice comes in at my initial gain. So you see here, this is my initial gain setting. This is about as high as I could go when I speak loud and when I speak soft. Then you're gonna right click into that device and hit filters. So here we go, in filters, I've already got my filter set up because my mic is running. You could see the levels on the sound bar right here. So what we're gonna do is you wanna add these four included with OBS filters. And you do that by hitting the plus button or right clicking and add a filter. So the first thing you'll add is a noise gate. So you add that, boom, what you'll have is here. What you wanna do is turn the eyeball off. And what that'll do is let you see your room noise and where all your hum is coming in. So I'm gonna turn it off and you could see where my hum is coming in on my soundbar here. So you could see it's coming in at around 50 to uh, 55. So on the noise gate, I wanted to put the close threshold at 53, a few decibels above it, and the open threshold at negative 45. So that way anything below that decibel is shut off, is gone, it cuts it out. So after you put your noise gate on, your second filter should be noise suppression. And what noise suppression does is help eliminate uh, any of those like PC noises, the little humming of the motor, or your PS4 motor running, or uh, maybe your ceiling fan in the background. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. And what I like to do is set that about five to 10 decibels below my speaking volume. And so since my speaking volume was somewhere about 26 dB uh, when I speak normal, when I was uh, doing it without all my filters on, uh, I set it at negative 35 decibels. So that's where I got this decibel from. So that basically means anything below 35 decibels is getting cut out. Your third filter down should be a compressor. And this plugin is used to bring your low and loud speaking volumes closer to the same dynamic range. So what that means is when you yell or you whisper, it sounds about the same volume. I honestly prefer to have heavily compressed vocals for speaking so that all the little nuances are picked up. And I recommend a ratio of three to one and you're gonna set your threshold just above your noise suppression or right at your noise suppression. Then you wanna set your attack at six milliseconds, release at 60 milliseconds, and then your output gain, since your ratio is three to one, should be about one third of your threshold. So if you took negative 35 times one third, you get about a ne negative 11.65, so almost negative 12. And then uh, I increased a little bit of gain through test recording just to make sure my voice is hitting right at this mark. I like it to hit just at the red mark. And your fourth and final filter should be a limiter. And a limiter 
Um, this plugin will prevent your mic audio from clipping. And what that means is when you yell, sometimes your voice will sound distorted and uh, pretty crazy and you probably seen on a ton of YouTube videos. But what that is called is clipping and it's not desirable in most cases. So what I like to do, add that filter on on the end, set it about negative two decibels, release 60 milliseconds. So this is one I just set and forget and don't worry about it. So now you have all of your filters functioning, but let's say you wanna do some test recordings. Uh, what you should do is do some test recordings, go into your compressor, and the only thing you should really play with is your output gain uh, to get your voice up higher or down lower in let's say your mix of sounds with your game, etc., and just play with that and you'd be good to go. Okay, so I am going to do another video after this uh, that'll release uh, shortly. Um, that shows you how to use free VST plugins to even bring your mic quality to that next level. So uh, more advanced settings, if you will. Um, and these are gonna be plugins like EQ and things like that. And uh, I found a few free ones, so be looking forward to that video in the future. However, if you found any of this useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more, uh, for more content coming your way. I do stream live on Twitch and I am building a copyright free uh, lo-fi beats playlist on Spotify for you to use in your stream backgrounds with no issues with DMCA or copyright or anything like that. So please see all the links in the description below and thank you for watching.